Hi guys, it's Andrew here from Easter Made today and welcome back to the Easter Made channel. I got a got another beautiful sunny day here today. Um gonna talk about something I haven't talked about for, for quite a while, and it's the general size and layout of of our horizontal splitters. All of our horizontal splitters are built pretty much the same, same concept, same idea. And I'm gonna show you why we do this because if you're looking at this is our biggest machine, this is our 37. If you look at that. Um, compared to a lot of other splitters on the market, its physical footprint is actually fairly small. Like compared to a lot of them, that will have big axles under them that will have uh, big fabricated beams under them. Um, we don't do that. We just run an H-beam on them. It's it's the Kiss theory. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, and there's a reason why we do this because in order to run one of these machines, you have to think about what you're actually doing and what what the machine has to do um so i'll show you here guys if you if you look at that um you can see that no matter which side you stand from you can easily and on the log lift side i can reach those handles incredibly easily i can reach everything in around the splitter area i have good access to my log lift um that that's important guys like a lot of these machines like you can't run the machine from the log left side of the machine you can't you have to load a log onto it you have to load a log on here and then you have to run around like this to this side of the machine where you can actually reach reach the controls so unless you're running with two people all the time which you, you very well could be you, you'd have to have one guy loading the log left and one guy running the controls um which which is which would work fine but again you always need to have two people to make it efficient and especially if you're running around a machine that's a lot bigger than this you have a lot more running to do and i don't know about you but this guy here i don't run a whole lot i'm not much of a runner <laughs> so i want to try and make this as simple and as easy as i can that's why the machines are the size that they are is just for the sake of being able to uh to work from both sides you can access the controls from both sides guys you don't need to uh run around to run the controls over on the opposite side of the machine from the log lift because if you're gonna buy if you're buying a commercial split or you're gonna buy something this size that's probably one of the number one key features you're looking for is the log lift so you have to take that into really good consideration of whether or not you can run it from from the log left side and still easily reach all of your controls um that's just my take on it guys um, i've said this lots before and i'm gonna say it again it doesn't matter which machine you buy whether it be mine or my one of my competitors if you buy a commercial splitter it's going to be a good investment for you guys it's uh the machines hold their value incredibly well uh most guys are building awesome stuff they're building great products they're building great machines and the customer service from just about everybody in this industry is awesome um so that's my two cents on it that's why we build them that that are this size this configuration is so you can run them from both sides easily and that's to me that that that's key here you can have a great big axle underneath it but it's a wood splitter not a trailer um we want to make this so it functions as a wood splitter as best it can and make you as productive as 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 you can be we want you guys to be able to succeed at this and excel at this because if you guys don't succeed in excel i don't succeed in excel i want you guys to do i want you guys to do great um i want to make sure you guys have a machine that's going to last and a machine that's well built so anyways guys if you liked the video give her a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button on the bottom i really appreciate you tuning in today and i really hope to see you on the next one take care